Steam wand in a milk bottle, toothpick in a steam wand. Stick around, I got five barista hacks using your steam wand that you're gonna love. G'day everyone, I'm Jimmy. Welcome back to the Artisti YouTube channel where we guide you through all things coffee. So you don't miss out on any future videos of us, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon now. So today I've got five great barista hacks for you using your steam wand. My first one is steam wand in a milk bottle. So we've always got these kicking around. They just get in our way. They take up heaps of room in your rubbish bin. So we just need to crush them down as small as we can. Uh, they're pretty solid, so they're kind of annoying to crush down. Simply fill that milk bottle with steam. Don't put your hand over the hole when you twist it. Just give it a little twist. Keep the top intact. They do get hot, so be careful. But you can cap that and bring that back down to a much smaller quantity. So when you look at the standard bottle versus size, you're gonna fit a lot more in your bins and you get a lot more space. If you're a business owner and you're paying for rubbish collection, you need to get your roosters to start doing this now. Send them this video, tell them to start doing it. You'll save yourself money. And if you're a barista and you're sick of taking the bin out, this is gonna halve the time that you take that bin out. Right. So my second tip is cleaning your glassware with your steam wand. So much like your steamy clothes, just do steam cleaning around the house. No reason you can't do that. The steam's not going to burn you, but you can clean that glassware nice and tight. So if your dishy's done a bad job of cleaning your glasses, you don't want to send out dirty coffees, polish them up nicely with a nice steam clean, and they're good to go. So my next tip for you is how to keep your steam wand clean without damaging it. One of the worst things you can do is to fill up a milk jug, fill it with water, and have it soaking overnight, especially if you're putting chemical in that, because there's vacuums created in steam wands, and you can send that water and that chemical back up the steam on. That's not good for it. Much like if you're using anything to scratch this down, it is really damaging the steam on and we don't want to do that. So the quickest way, something for you to just get a good habit through your day as a barista, is simply wrapping your steam on with a wet chucks and leaving it while you're not using it. That soaking for five minutes will have just as great an effect at cleaning a steam on. When you come back to it, all you're doing is giving it a good wipe down and we're just getting all that off and we're nice and clean and you're good to go again. All right, so my next tip for you is a simple one, but it's a great one. If you've ever been in a cafe and you've had your dishy come out and bleed you of all your hot water or someone just needs some hot water for a baby bottle or any reason to just get some hot or boiling water that you just don't want to take out in your machine because it does affect your coffee making, Simply put some cold water in your milk jug and just steam it as if it's milk and it will get up to temperature real quick. It's way faster than boiling the kettle. It's gonna scream at you because there's no air in it. But now you've simply got some perfect hot water. Cup of noodles. <laughs> so the toothpick. What are we gonna do with the toothpick? Do you find that you have trouble managing the steam that's coming out of your machine? Maybe it's a bit too quick and you don't have time to uh, get the right vortex and add the air at the right rate. We're gonna use this toothpick to actually block up one of these holes, which is gonna reduce the amount of steam that's able to come out. And that's easy to do with this simple trick. So we'll just take that out. This is a double ender, but if you're using a flat end, be sure to use the pointy end come under here we want to fill the hole that's closest to the machine so keeping these all in good stead I'm going to push that up right up into the hole I'm going to snap that off leaving that part of the toothpick in there now this is important that we want to actually get some of that condensation coming out and that will expand the toothpick that will ensure it doesn't fall out one important tip on this is you do need to use the wooden toothpicks. You can't use the bamboo ones. They don't expand and they won't work the same way. So now we've reduced the amount of steam that can come out of our steam wand. And that's gonna slow down the amount of time that it takes us to steam a full jug of milk. Meaning you've got more time to get your vortex right. You've got more time to manage the amount of air going into your coffee. 
and you're going to be able to manage your milk far better. So that's my five top Brewster hacks to do with your steam on. I hope you've enjoyed them. If you've got your own Brewster hacks, put them in the comments below. We're going to read all of them and we want to do more of these videos. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you don't miss out on any of the videos coming up. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you know when they come up. Plus, like this video. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day.